me, pussycat. I just poured you a nice glass of orange juice. Oh, thank you. It was very nice of you. <laughs> is this a dribble glass? Yeah, it works better when all that pulp doesn't clog up the dribble hole. <laughs> well, why did you do this? Maury Heseltine. He won't quit with the practical jokes. I decide I'm going to give him a taste of his own medicine. Do I look like Maury Heseltine? A little around the eyebrows. <laughs> but that's not the point. I've got to make sure I have the perfect gag before I spring it on him. Oh, I I'm sorry, pussycat. No hard feelings? No, oh, okay, Ma, no hard feelings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could really get tired of this. Good morning, girls. Dorothy, you're a mess. No, I just spilled orange juice on myself. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. <laughs> uh, poor Blanche, some orange juice, Ma. Yeah, I could use some of that. I think I might be coming down with a cold. Well, doesn't come as a surprise. I mean, you've spent every afternoon this week standing stark naked in a cold, windy studio. Oh, I didn't catch cold at Laszlo's studio, Dorothy. Laszlo keeps me too warm for that. Too warm and too tingly. Warm and too tingly and too hot. Well, have some juice anyway, Blanche. I'd feel better. Not that we actually do it in the studio. Laszlo's been a perfect gentleman so far. I just stand there in front of him in all my luscious nakedness and somehow he manages to suppress the urge to throw me on the floor and ravish me. Please, if he throws you on the floor, you'll both end up at the apartment below. <laughs> Drink up, Blanche. Mm. That must be him now. I just have to grip my jacket. We're driving into the museum together. Laszlo, come in. Blanche just went to get a jacket. Thank you, Rose. You know, we are so excited about what you two are doing. I'm sure it's going to turn out great. Oh, I wish I was so sure. What do you mean? Well, I'm having second thoughts. About what? Well, when I met Blanche, I thought uh, she would be the perfect model for the piece I had in mind. You know, sexy, sassy, exciting. Huh? But now I'm thinking, well, there are other qualities I wish to capture. Like what? Innocence. Wholesomeness. <laughs> Naivety. I see a woman with a fuller figure, wider hips, wider eyes. Rose. Laszlo. Rose, I have to ask you something. Oh, I know what it is. You can ask me to pose for you, too. No, I'm not. Oh. Oh, well, I'm so embarrassed. That's it! That's exactly the quality I want to capture. Oh, take my key, Rose. Come to my studio. We will make a beautiful sculpture together. What about Blanche? Well, I will still see her. And she doesn't have to know about you. How about tomorrow morning at 10? Oh, that seems so dishonest. I mean, Blanche is a dear friend. It would be a betrayal. Here I am, Laszlo. Did Rose manage to keep you entertained? Yes, I find her charming. Oh, Laszlo, that's what I love about you. You can tell a bald-faced lie and still sound sincere. <laughs> I forgot my compact. I'll be right back. Give me that key. <laughs>